a hastily erected camp for displaced people on the outskirts of Johannesburg. 400 people, many from Mozambique, Malawi and Zimbabwe are sheltered here, all fleeing the recent flare-up in xenophobic violence that has swept South Africa. The fear of attack has sent a ripple of panic through much of South Africa's 5 million strong immigrant population. They say that they received an SMS, there was an SMS that was going around to say that they were going to be attacked. So in fear of being attacked, they actually decided to come to the police station. So we had to put systems in place to ensure that they are safe. They are talking to us that to go back, go back where from, if you go back to your country, go back to your country, we will attack you at the night, we will attack you at the night. Rumours, threats by SMS and social media have been adding to the panic and a tension that has spilled, like here in central Johannesburg, into running street fighting. Many shops closed for days here, their foreign owners fearing attacks and looting. In 2008, more than 60 people died in xenophobic violence, mainly in Johannesburg's townships. This time, the death toll is much lower, but more than 300 people have been arrested and the army has been deployed to hotspots. We come in as the ultimate option. What are we going to do now? We're going to be deploying. We're going to deploy because we know in the first instance that the presence of the South African National Defense Force will serve as a deterrent. Hundreds of South Africa's immigrants have already left, like these Malawians arriving in Blantyre by bus. At night, in some places, some unemployed South Africans have been burning buildings and cars and looting shops. With unemployment around 25% in South Africa, soaring to over 50% among young people, workers from Asia or from other African countries often become the target of resentment and frustration. We complain because other people from the hostel are not working. Even me, I'm not working. But uh, now I'm, I'm trying to tell this guy to go back home. The king of South Africa's Zulus, accused of having fomented the hatred with a speech blaming immigrants for rising crime, has since called for calm. Marches and candlelit vigils have also sought to calm tensions in South Africa, but the threat of further attacks is far from extinguished.